Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to another video and today is a bit of a different video. Now, I haven't done one of these sit down actual YouTube videos in a while because a lot of my YouTube videos these days are just coming from my actual stream. If you guys do not want to miss out on anything on the streams, be sure to check out the first line in the description for my Twitch. We do stream about five to six days a week. Um, so be sure to come by and uh, follow up the stream. We are on the road to 1,400 followers right now, which is amazing considering we only started a few months ago. So yeah, man, very, very interesting as well that this game at the moment, guys, is actually in the mud. Now, a lot of people are really, really dying playing this game. Like this game right here is probably the worst it's been in a while. And, you know, to be fair, FC25... Or FC24, sorry, was pretty bad. In my opinion, it was the worst FIFA ever of all time. But now, a lot of people are saying this is the worst game ever. Now, I want to go through some of the things of why this game is pretty bad. In the meantime, I'm just going to craft up some, um, some maybe some player picks. Also, we've got a new uh, party bag here, which looks like we just need two team, uh, two 83 rated teams, which is fine. But let me just, just show, tell you guys why the game is dead at the moment. And what I think is going to happen with this game so obviously last year wasn't the best start as well um fc24 we had a pretty horrible start there was crazy people spamming these finesses travellers from far away and the game was pretty much unplayable at the start i remember at the start of the year literally the first month or two of fc24 i was literally complaining every single day about how terrible the game was and to be honest this game is actually worse than last year at the start at least Obviously, we don't know what this game can turn into. I still personally believe that there is some sort of potential still. Obviously, like I said, I, EA are definitely not going to do what I am have in my head, what I have in my head in terms of improvements. But I feel like there are some things that if they are changed, it can really benefit the game. And some of the things I do think can change are stuff like the game speed. The game is really, really slow. There's just nothing going forward in this gameplay right now. The gameplay is so slow, so sluggish, and it just the worst thing is it just the, it's the defender catch up. You're you know you're playing against centre backs. You have like 95 rate, uh, pace players, and they're getting caught up by these 80 rate, 80 pace, 75 pace centre backs. Everyone's just getting caught up in this game. It's very hard to attack sometimes, especially if you're in a very competitive game because, like I said. There's just not much you can do. You're only limited to like a couple things that you can really do. I'm also going to open this preview pack here. Is that a walkout? No, it's not a walkout. But guys, not only is the game speed horrible, but there's a lot of issues with the gameplay in general. I think a lot of people are losing interest in this game. Not only because COD is actually a good game this year. A lot of people are playing COD. Whereas, you know, the last couple of years, COD has actually been kind of terrible. So not a lot of people have been playing COD. But this year... A lot of people are playing it so yeah cod has kind of killed a lot of people's motivation for this game for fc and not only that but the gameplay man like i said this game speed is terrible it's too slow not only that but you also have things like rebounds tackles they're horrible you guys don't even understand how many clips i have of just rebounds and tackles bro chat look at this goal i conceded yesterday look one rebound two rebounds three rebound and then he gets the fourth opportunity to score. Like, this is, like, on a daily basis. Like, I'm not even exaggerating, guys. This is literally on a daily basis of how bad this game actually is. Like, for example, look at my Mendy here, chat. Look at Mendy. Just peep your eyes on Mendy. Look how slow he's running. Like, there's just so many things in this game that is just problematic. And like I said, I might be crazy for thinking that there's still somewhat of a potential in this game. But in my head, obviously, I'm always going to have hope because this is the game I am going to be streaming and playing. Now, the problem is, look at this, by the way. Like, just look at the goals. Like, this is just all chat. Look at this. It's just some of the goals that you concede in this game are just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And I just can't believe how bad some of these goals are because sometimes you just sit there in despair and you're just thinking, how the hell am I conceding these goals? Like, for this one, for example, guys, let me just take a look at this one here quick. So, he gets a corner here. He heads it all the way far out there. I get the ball and I pass it and the ball just goes to no man's land. I don't know where the ball just went. And it just went absolutely nowhere. Look at this goal here. Van Dijk gets pushed off by Rashford. He gets a rebound. And what? Like, this is too many things going on. And in my opinion, I think the game is very, very unfair. And it's in a very tough spot because the game, the, the skill gap in this game 
it's terrible. A lot of problems <clears throat> that come from this is the next gen. Obviously, the next gen gameplay is kind of the downfall of EAFC or FIFA in general in terms of the gameplay. You guys already know before PS5 and Xbox One came out, it's just kind of been a downward spiral in gameplay. FIFA 23 was okay, but still, it was just, it's still not good enough. Let's open up this pack here. Let's see what we get as well. So we get ourselves a Trailblazer, it looks like, but we don't even get a walkout, which is very, very funny, huh? We don't even get a walkout. I don't know who this is. Cam Bundesliga. Wait, who is this? Wait, chat, we're going to get back into this. Who is this? I have no idea. M Milot. Okay, Milot. Uh, guys, I have another account, so I'm going to go on my RTG as well. There's another problem with this game, and that's the content. Like, bro, I don't know what EA are doing with the SBCs, with the objectives, but they have been horrible. Now, I personally think that last year was a bit overkill in terms of the um in terms of the SBCs, in terms of the quality of the players for the time of the year i think it was overkill we had played a month in bappe we had like dynasty zidane we had uh centurions eusebio we had all of these crazy SBCs by december and obviously the biggest problem in fifa is trying to pace the game obviously this game is not like how it was back in the day where you can literally just rock, rock a goal team until the next game. Like, that's not how FIFA is anymore, unfortunately, because of the store packs, the promos and everything. Last, like, the, 10 years ago, there was only, like, three promos within a year. That was uh, Man of the Match, uh, Team of the Season, and Team of the Year. Like, those were the only special cards, and Team of the Weeks as well. Those are the only special cards in the game uh, 10 years ago. But now it's a lot different. And the problem is now is that EA... I feel like EA is struggling with, like trying to release good SBCs without overkilling it because I do feel like last year they got it completely wrong with the pacing of teams and cards because I feel like a lot of people's teams were so good by January to the point where even at team of the year after like pretty much after team of the year you did not even need to like upgrade your team until like like until team of season like pretty much you guys can see the SBCs don't get me wrong, I am against EA releasing like crazy amazing SPCs already because it is only the first eight weeks of the game, but it's still not good enough. For example, Zanetti, in my opinion, this is an okay SPC. I don't, I'm not too mad at it. Again, I'm not going to do him on any account, but I'm not too mad at it. Varon, in my opinion, is a terrible SPC because you can, get, you can go on the market and you can get Guajaro. Yes, Guajaro. Patrick Guajaro for 10,000 coins on the market, 88 rated. And she is already a better card than him. And it's just tough. Rafinha, you don't need to do this Rafinha card. You can just buy his inform for 200k. Or you can just do an Evo with him for, for 90,000 coins. You can do an Evo for Rafinha. There's no point doing this. SBCs like this is what annoys me the most. 84 double upgrade. And when you go on it, you have you require three 84s. Like, I don't understand this. Like, are we? Are you trying to help us improve our teams? Or are we just going to... You know what I mean? We've got 77 plus player picks, which is fine. The play, the team that we play picks are pointless in my opinion. We got these showdown cards. I think this just came out. Let's be honest, guys. Don't get me wrong. On paper, this card is pretty solid. 95 pace, quick step plus, good shooting, good dribbling. Okay, on paper, it's a good card. But no one is going to use this player. Like, you first and foremost, you cannot get chemistry on this card. And the second thing with this as well is that the the meta in this game is so elite. Like the difference between using Mbappe. And like just the gold tier cards like Hoyman Son and Griezmann and stuff, it's like, bro, the difference is crazy. I don't know how EA have managed to mess this up so much, but in my opinion, this is the most pay to win FIFA of all time, obviously. But he's just too much. Like eight or seven squads in November should never happen. So are you telling me, Musiala, nine squads, are you telling me that in January, when Team of the Year comes out and EA drop Team of the Year SBCs every single day, that these cards are going to be 15 squads to complete. Like, I understand the SPC uh, uh, storage, guys. I, I do understand this SPC storage stuff, but it's not easy to get fodder. Even now, I feel like the rewards just don't give out. Obviously, the first couple weeks they were giving out and everyone was excited because all of the gold cards were very expensive, so it was quite easy to make coins. But now that the gold cards have kind of corrected in price and they're now all at, like, normal value... It's very hard to actually get coins. I just feel like EA are really just relying on people to open up store packs. And in my opinion, like I don't mind opening store packs. I don't think I don't have anything against opening store packs, but only if the game is good. The game, in my opinion, is trash. So 
when EA are just really, really trying to promote people to open store packs, now we've got Black Friday coming up, which I'm going to lead on to in a second. But once people just realize that, you know, the, the game is dead, like, bro, EA are really going to just lose a lot of money. But it seems like they don't even care. It really just doesn't seem like they actually care about the gameplay side of things. Because if you actually think about it, guys, the gameplay really is bad. <laughs> like, I'm not even exaggerating. The gameplay is really bad. I lie. I personally believe that EA should implement a system where people's, the consumer's feedback can reach their development and can improve the game. So for example, I'm pretty sure that Epic's, Epic Games for Fortnite has like a forums page. I think EA does as well, but let's be honest, EA help and all that is, is nonsense. It doesn't even work. So I personally think that if EA somehow get an allocated team for each side of their of their development for the content for their um gameplay and for their monetization okay so if they do like a like if they have like a like an ambassador for each thing it could work really well in my opinion i think if ea have an ambassador for gameplay they have an ambassador for the content so the spcs the daily objectives and this what upgrades all that and they have an ambassador in terms of the um, in terms of the um, uh, the monetization. So for the packs and the evos and whatnot, I feel like this game could run pretty smoothly because all they need to do, these ambassadors are basically in charge of each sector. All they need to do is hire a team of mods or whatever. They have a high they have they hire a team to work for them, and what they will do is control a forums page. And basically what the consumers can do is if they feel like there's an issue with the game, for example, at this current moment in time, uh, first time over the top through balls are too overpowered. Let's, so let's say, for example, 20,000 people in this forums page put, oh yeah, by the way, first time over the top through balls are too overpowered. Can we please get them patched or reduced, the accuracy reduced or something to just prevent this from happening? All they need to do is have an AI to detect the most common themes in each department. So let's say the most common theme for the gameplay is over the top three balls or too overpowered. There's 20,000 people that said similar things. Let's say in the content, let's say, let's say um, the upgrade, the SPCs are too expensive. There's too many squads for each SPC. Let's say there's 10,000 people that said the same thing. There's a common thing there. Let's say for the monetization, let's say that store packs are too expensive or there's too many store packs being released. Let's say there's 5,000 5, people saying that. So what will happen then? It will be raised to the moderation team. They will review it amongst themselves. They will review it. And if they feel like it can benefit their game, then they can raise it to the ambassador. And then what they can do is that they can run a simulation where, for example, the first time over the top through ball, if 20,000 people are saying that it's too overpowered, then what they will do is that they can even hire a pro player. They can even hire a pro player or someone that works in the EAFC Pro Open and all that, all those tournaments that they do. They can hire a pro player to test these things out. So they can hire a pro player to test out the first time over the top through ball and they can see that it's too overpowered. Then what they can do is that they can tweak it, they can change the accuracy, decrease the accuracy, decrease the speed and whatnot. And when it comes to the point where they are happy with it, they will release it back into the game as a patch or as a live tuning. And then basically they will put a message on the screen saying, we have looked at the forums page and we have seen that this this request here was requested more than 20,000 times. We have simulated with our team and we have found a way to reduce it and help better the gameplay. And then people will be more happy. As long as people know that EA are doing something to change the game, that's all we that's all we want. Like if the game, for example, right now the game speed is too slow. The game speed is way too slow. If 20,000 people go in a forums page and say, can you increase the game speed? It's too slow right now. Then the moderation team can take a look at it. They can, uh, they can discuss it amongst themselves, have some meetings about it. How will it benefit? Oh, it'll make the game more fun. Okay, you know what? Maybe it will benefit our consumers. Let's raise it to the ambassador. They'll raise it to the ambassador. The ambassador say, okay, you know what? Let's run some test simulations. Let's increase the game speed by 10% in our simulation let's see if it's fun if the gameplay is more fun enjoyable then you know what we're going to do we're going to actually release this as a patch bro that would be the best thing ever imagine that do you know how quick things can get resolved like do you actually know how quick everything can get resolved if they just have this thing where you can just ask 
have a forums page raise it to ea employees they can raise it to an ambassador or a manager or whatever in that side of the content or the gameplay or the monetization or whatever the transactions whatever then they can just review it in a simulation in their own headquarters they don't have to release it in any patch they just review it if they're happy with it they'll release it into the game if they're not happy with it then they'll, they will just reduce it they will just say we have taken a look at it and we are not happy with it we don't think this will benefit the game sorry that's it and that, that, that's, that's literally it <laughs> like, bro I, this is crazy like how can ea not have this system i feel like epic games has this system where they have a forums page and it gets raised to management and they take a look at stuff and they actually put patches that's why the game so many games get updated so quickly look at cod when there's a, a zombies glitch camo glitch or zombies glitch where you can get unlimited kills unlimited rounds they patch it within a day in this game it takes weeks to patch something bro it takes forever so I, and it still doesn't even get patched properly so i don't even know what is going on in this game right now i really just don't know oh so, chat how many times have we spoken about draft like draft just make draft a better mode please just make the rewards better every season upgrade the rewards apparently they can't change the rewards or can't change the format of draft because the person who made draft eight years ago or nine years ago apparently still has the coding and he left ea headquarters and he can't even give it to them because it's like i don't know it's weird bro they can't change it without his coding or something bro it's, it's weird i don't know how that's even a thing but look at the play sbcs as well like Abamyang, in my opinion, that's a good SBC. However, uh, he's quite expensive, and not only that, but you can't link him. Robbie Keane, again, not a bad SBC, but again, he's too expensive. He's very outdated already. Uh, Patelas, again, very expensive. She's a good player in game, but for two hundred thousand coins, you can buy it off the market, and then you just that's it, man. Like you just got nothing, nothing. There's like no substance in this game. EA really need to find a way to balance the menu grinding and the gameplay, but they need to make the gameplay enjoyable. They cannot rely on people to open store packs if the gameplay is terrible. Because I'm still motivated, I still stream every day. The problem at the moment is that it's hard for me to make content. It's hard for me to make a YouTube video. I can get stuff from my stream and post it on YouTube, that's fine. But to sit here in a room when I'm not streaming and say, okay, I'm gonna make a YouTube video. It was very easy last year. It was very easy the year before this year is not easy i don't know what youtube video to make let me know what you guys want to see by the way but it's very hard there's like no i don't know what youtube video to make so when it comes to the point where i don't know what to do ah i don't know i feel like the content right that right now in this current moment in time is just going to be slow regardless because it is still the start of the year but once the christmas and stuff picks up I think EA, I think EA will start pumping out more content and stuff, more SBCs, more players, more or this than the other. But I just feel like at the moment the game is in a very scary space. Um, COD is a very good game this year. We have got GTA 6 coming out in 2026 maybe. So even then, people might even stop playing FC 25 or FC in general, and they're just gonna play GTA and COD. They don't need to play anything else. Why, why else would they want to play anything else? I think Thunderstruck is a very very good time because they have so many players and packs. They have actual players. They have icons. And not only that, but they also have the best of Team of the Week as well. So, like I said, Thunderstruck was like top three, top five promos last year, 100%. Um, so, that can have a lot of people come back. But again, that's only for a weekend. So, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that. After that weekend, it might be cooked. I don't know what's going to happen after that. Until Christmas, when we get to mid-December, when they start releasing SPCs every single day. Then, obviously, it's going to get a bit better. Hopefully, the content should step up as well. And then, I mean, after that, like, then between Christmas... And team of the year, it's going to probably be a dry period again. And then team of the year is like, boom, like everyone's back on the game. Every single player. Because everyone's going to be trying to get a blue card. Then after team of the year, the game might die out again. Who knows? But last year, it's pretty much the same cycle every year, guys. I'm not going to lie. But the only difference is this year that COD is actually a good game. COD hasn't been a, a crazy good game for the last four or five years. So now that COD is actually a very, very good game this year, a lot of people are actually being like, why the hell am I going to post FIFA content or play FIFA or this, that, and the other? Like, bro, I literally go on Twitch every day around 7 p.m. And people are already off FIFA. Like, already. Um, obviously, this is a very long video as well. So, I don't want to drag it even longer than I need to. So, I appreciate the love and support, guys. I appreciate, uh, appreciate everyone who has been watching. If you guys have been watching until the end, until the very, very end, then please do let me know in the comments. Let me know that you watched until the end. Um, and, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, we can get some good 
content recent, uh, you know, coming out, but I don't know, man. It, this game is really, really in a, in a bad space right now. EA need to change a lot of things, but like I said, there still is potential, but if it's just 1%, like 1%, there's just 1% hope, and 99% it's over, you know what I mean? I'll see you guys next one, chat. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys follow up the Twitch in the bottom. And um, yeah, man, I'll see you guys there. Peace.